Well, hello everybody. This is Thaddeus from Primal Hacker, and we teach you about biohacking. I am here in my bedroom right now, and I have a, a EMF Faraday cage canopy around my bed that I want to tell you about. I'm going to tell you why I have this, how it works, and I'm going to show you the microwave readings from this canopy. So let's take a step back here. I've got it kind of pinned up. I built uh, out of cedar four by fours, sort of like a, one of those four poster beds. Uh, so if you look on the inside here, we've got four by fours around the bed. Those are holding it up along with this board right here along the top, just so it doesn't fall down into the bed. And then I ordered this from Brian Hoyer at Shielded Healing. Brian Hoyer has done the EMF assessments for Luke Story, Dr. Mercola. Dr. Mercola has a book called EMF. Brian Hoyer was the number one consultant that modified nearly every one of Dr. Mercola's pages in that book based on what Mercola learned from Brian Hoyer. He's a good friend of mine. I bought this material. You can see it's, you can see my hand through here. So you can see that it's uh, somewhat sheer and see-through. You can see, you know, the window and everything over there. So it, it's going to allow uh, air circulation. It's going to allow light through it. And it's going to block, importantly, the microwave radiation that's coming into your home from the neighbor's Wi-Fi, from the cell phone towers, from whatever, nav, from people's cars driving by. You must be protected from that at night. The number one optimal, most important biohack of all time is getting optimal sleep. And we know that EMF, electromagnetic fields, especially from microwave radiation, from cell phones, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, are what destroy melatonin in the body that's the number one hormone of sleep. It destroys your sleep. When you destroy sleep, all bets are off. Obesity, diabetes, cancer, heart disease, all of those things are associated with being awake at night and being exposed to these microwave frequencies of radiation. Most of you don't know that the US government took 14 years and $25 million, hired the top cancer experts in the entire world to definitively once and for all prove that cell phones were safe and they failed. They proved publicly that cell phones cause cancer. There is no other definitive study that you would do. If you wanted to do a study to prove something causes cancer, that's what the US government did for cell phones on 1 and 2G, not 3, 4, and 5G. And they proved that cell phones cause cancer. So we know they hurt sleep. They can potentially cause cancer, especially in men, and especially brain cancer, adrenal cancer, heart. So all these things are so important to block. Optimum, optimum health Longevity happens when you sleep, you recover. You need a primal sleeping environment, no lights. You'll notice there's some lights here on the uh, nightstands. Those are red lights. Uh, that's a whole nother talk that you can find on our YouTube channel. This EMF canopy is made of silver and cotton fabric. So the way that I put it up is I took four by fours and I just literally screwed them into this frame that I built around the bed and then I put one over the top so that it wouldn't drape down on me. It was very simple. I am not handy at all, but I was able to put this together uh, with tomorrow. And our bed is inside it. This fabric, when we bought it, was just a huge roll of fabric and we had to cut it and sew it. Now, shieldedhealing.com, you can use uh, discount code Primal Sleep to get a discount code just on this with Primal Sleep and it will be cut and sewn to your dimensions. So I measured all the way from the ceiling all the way to the floor and all the way around the bed and that's how many square meters or square feet that I needed and that's what I bought and it was exactly enough uh, to do this. Now, the benefit of this is I get to protect us while we sleep from microwave radiation so we get primal sleep. We know people that once they started shielding their bedrooms, so you can use shielding paint, that's a different YouTube video we've got, or you can use canopies, much better if you're in an apartment to use canopies because they're portable, you can take them with you when you leave. Easy to set up, uh, they're not inexpensive, but sleep is priceless, absolutely priceless. Your life is priceless. So I recommend everybody protect their sleep and create a primal sleeping environment. Microwave radiation hitting you while you sleep is no bueno. So I'm gonna take this Acousticom too. This measures microwave radiation in the air from Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cell phones, and you're gonna hear it. I'm gonna step away from the Faraday cage. So it, now, keep in mind, I have no Wi-Fi in my house. No cell phones are turned on in my house. This is just from the neighbor's uh, Wi-Fi and the cell phone towers that might be coming into this bedroom. It's pretty good. I mean, this is really, really good. I 
challenge anyone else to show me this reading in the bedroom. These are not shielded walls. There's a window right here. There's a window behind me. Uh, and I still have really good readings. Um, not because I'm doing anything special, but I've got trees around the house. I live in a very wooded city and I live far enough out of the cities that my microwave is not high, especially in this bedroom. But I don't want any, any when I sleep. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk into this Faraday cage. This is what it looks like. So again, I've got it draped up so you can see me for a minute. And I'm just gonna sit back here. I'm gonna come into the cage. I'm gonna show you the readings. You can still hear a little bit. You hear it, you can still see a signal. Now I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna pull on this, I'm gonna drop that. I'm going to do uh, set it up for how I sleep. So I'm going to take this, I'm gonna get that right there. And there we go. So now, completely surrounded, everything's closed up. And I wanna show you what happens. It's almost like it's not turned on, right? So I still have a, a gap here I'm gonna close with my foot. All right, and so here we go. Uh, there's no signal. There, there's some green if I move a little bit, but look at that. It's almost no signal whatsoever coming onto here. Uh, it's important not just to drape a Faraday cage around you, but it has to go underneath you as well. So I'm just gonna show you what I have underneath. You can put metalized fabric. I'm gonna turn this off so it's not making uh, annoying us. You can put metalized fabric, you can put metal, you can put mesh, you can put metal aluminum window screen, not fiberglass, it's not metal, aluminum window screen under your bed. You've got a block from underneath. So how am I doing that? How am I blocking from underneath? It's not with the silver fabric. It's actually with another solution, which is very uh, expensive and heavy, but I believe it also creates this primal sleeping environment. So it is called a Magnetico sleep pad. So Magnetico mattress. And it has tons and tons of metal magnets in it. Those metal magnets are what are blocking the EMF from coming up from below, but it's also providing this magnetic field that I'm sleeping in. I'm on the second floor. I'm not in the Earth's strong magnetic field when I'm up on the second floor. The Earth's magnetic field has been declining for a hundred years. It's really low right now. We used to sleep on the ground at night, the magnetic environment is much higher than during the day. During the day, the electric environment is much higher outdoors. So when we sleep, we want a high magnetic environment to optimally recover and get primal sleep. So this is my hack right here. Is This is a magnetical mattress, a twin. And here's another magnetical mattress, a twin. I'll tell you what, if these were king size, you would not be able to lift them. I think these twins are well over 120, 150 pounds each. So they're no joke, uh, but they're under the mattress. So it's not like you're gonna feel them, but they're just covered in magnets inside of here, protecting me from EMF from below. The other thing that I do, this is important. This is wood. Every component of this bed is made from wood. There's no metal in the bed to act as an antenna, bringing the EMF up into the mattress, into my body. That means that there might be some metal here, but it's creating this magnetic field and blocking the EMF. There's metal here, it's blocking the EMF. There's no metal in my mattress or my bed to act as an antenna to concentrate that EMF into me when I sleep. No metal in the mattress is a big deal. Now, what happens with the fields that are hitting this and kind of electrifying this and maybe these pads, right? I don't want that going to my body. So if I touch this, the microwave radiation hitting this might turn into, if there's a strong enough signal, an electric field. That electric field, when I touch it, goes into my body and we don't want man-made electric fields in our body. So we have to ground this. That's really important. Most people forget this. Not only do you have to shield your bed, but then ground. So we're gonna walk over here and I'm going to show you that there is a wire this is a copper shielded wire that goes outside into a four foot grounding rod in the ground. And this is, see if I can, if I can get you to see this, this is connected to my bed right here. So I've got that connected and it's an alligator clip and I just connected it to the fabric to ground it outside. So any signal building up gets grounded. So again, I built this with four by fours and some one bys. Uh, just whatever wood you want, you can make it as beautiful as you want. You could actually just suspend it from the ceiling by hanging it from some hooks and suspending it over your bed. That would probably be you know, the, the 
the most easy solution to do. But I wanted this kind of standing solution. I can get it out of my way when I need to, get in and out of the bed. I can lay in there and read a book and then pull it down at night when I sleep. It's a great solution. It massively reduces the EMF. I feel phenomenal when I sleep and wake up. I get amazing sleep. This is then grounded and I'm blocking from underneath. Now, if you lived in a basement, you wouldn't need to block underneath because there's probably no EMF microwave uh, radiation coming up from underneath. So first floor slash basement, probably no need to block from underneath unless your Wi-Fi router's in the basement and you're on the first floor. But if you're on the ground floor slash basement, you don't need to block underneath. But if you're on any other floor or you've got some EMF coming from up uh, down below, block underneath with some sort of metal, window screen, fabric, uh, magnets, whatever you want to do, and then ground this. That's how you get the best primal sleep ever. Primal sleep, you know, people can give up all their supplements. Uh, we've, we've found that some people, when they take care of their nighttime sleeping environment, medications, supplements, all these things are not needed anymore. That is go at your own pace, work with your own medical professional, try it for yourself. Sleep is so important. And this is the number one way to get the best sleep ever is to protect your sleep environment.